Hello there and welcome to the June 2018 paper. Here we're looking at question 11. So, part A, the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion 2 minus x over 16th power of 9, giving each uh, term in its simplest form. So the first three terms, let's just remind ourselves what we get from the formula booklet first. It's a plus b to the power of n equals a to the power of n plus n choose 1, a to the power of n minus 1, b plus n choose 2, a to the n minus 2 b squared, and that will just carry on and on. You can see the pattern here. The power of a will continue to decrease, the power of b will continue to increase by 1, and the choose will continue to increase on the bottom value as well. So let's substitute it in. So now a is going to be referred to as 2. Here is where students typically trip up, it's because it's a plus b inside your binomial expansion formula, and in your question it's a minus x over 16, the minus has to be incorporated where b is. So b is going to be equal to minus x over 16. So wherever there's a b, it needs to be minus x over 16. And then n is going to be 9, because that's the power on the binomial expansion. So, therefore, 2 minus x over 16 to the power of 9 is going to equal 2 to the power of 9 plus 9 choose 1, 2 to the power of 8, and then minus x over 16 uh, as the value for b. Then it's going to be 9 choose 2, 2 to the power of 7, and then it's going to be minus x over 16 to the power of 2. So let's now calculate all of these. So the answer for 2 to the power of 9 is going to be um, 512. Then it's going to be minus because there's a minus inside this, um, this uh, bracket here. So it's 9 choose 1 times 2 to the power of 8 times uh, divided by 16. And that's going to give us 144 x and then it'd be plus because there'll be a double negative on this squared term here so it's 9 choose 2 times 2 to the power of 7 divided by 16 squared and that will give us plus 18x squared okay so that's the answer for part a let's now just clear the screen and i'll write down that it's 512 minus 144x plus 18x squared before moving on to part b so this is the function f of x. Given that the first two terms in ascending powers of x in the series of, the, of f of x is 128 and 36 x, find the values of a and find the value of b. So let's start by writing it out. a plus bx, 512 minus 144 x plus 18 x x squared. So let's expand the bits that we need to expand. So this is going to be uh, 512 times a and then minus 144ax. Uh, I don't really need to expand up to x squared because my problem here is only really a problem to do with the constant term and the x term. So I'll just not expand anything above x squared, then it would be plus 512bx, and then we get on to another x squared, so I don't really need to expand any further. So I'll just put plus dot dot dot. So now this is going to be compared with 128x plus 36, sorry, just 128, and then plus 36x. So therefore, if I now make an equation out of these two parts here, 512a equals 128, divide by your 512, and you get a is a quarter. Now I'm going to make a second equation out of these two bits that are equal. So given that a is a quarter, what's 144 times a quarter? 144 divided by 4 is 36. So it's going to be, for the second equation, minus 36 plus 512 b equals 36. So let's add the 36 onto the other side. So it's 512b equals 72. And then 72 divided by 512 
gives us 9 over 64. So B here is 9 over 64. And there we are, that's the answer for A and the answer for B. So that's parts B and C of this question complete. And there we are, that's it for question 11. That's eight marks. Let's now move on to question 12.